Welcome back to another video. We got live life surf. You feel me? How to talk to gals. So that means a lot of people recently have been asking me the same question. Rhino, how? Subdorks, a lot of people recently have been asking me the same question. Huh? Rhino, how do you stay so sexy? Okay, maybe they don't ask that, but what they do ask me is, Rhino, how do I talk to girls? I'm nervous around my crush. I never know what to say. I run out of things to say. How do I get a girlfriend? Today, Noah and I are gonna be giving you our 10 patented tips on how to talk to girls. That way, you will not be nervous around your crush and you'll know exactly what to say. Let's go. <sighs> the first and most important tip is you need to fix your appearance. You could be saying the most coolest stuff, but if you're built like a melted candlestick, nobody's gonna want to talk to you. You're trying your hardest to say the funniest and best pickup lines, but you're built like the Mucinex man. And you're on Tinder trying to be funny and trying to be all creative, trying to be a stand-up comedian. But come on, bruh, look at yourself. You're built like a sandbag. And you're on Hinge right now, buying roses, sending them out left and right. Bro, who you talking to, bro? Like you're the flower boy. I'd be in LA seeing the people on the side of the road selling roses. You want a rose? You want a rose? That's you right now. And you're doing all that, but you're built like a melted Twix. You're like a melted Twix that was left out on the sidewalk in a hundred degree sun. Melted, but like skinny. Oh, like, you know what I mean? Like, like brother, uh, like that's you. So brother, before you brother, start obsessing uh, over talking tips brother, and pick up lines, uh, fix your outward appearance first. Fix your fashion, fix your physique. If you want us to make a whole fashion video, we'll do that next. So just put that in the comments and like this video. Because right now, this is what you look like. God damn, you bad as shit. Holy fuck. Yeah, I've been wanting to talk to you all all semester. My favorite YouTuber is Nobo or Rhino. They um, <laughs> say like, just talk to more people. So I'm like, just want to talk to you and shit. Oh, you're, nah. super bad. you're super bad. You're beautiful. Uh, um, like, you're a super bad. You're super bad. You, um, like, That's how like, like, you uh, get the or something like grab, I grab, 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 grab or whatever. Like we just grab or whatever. Just like get whatever. Like in and out. Um, canes. I love canes. Tip number two. You care too much. Why are you so concerned about if they thought you were funny? Why do you care if they think? Oh, I want this girl to think I'm cute. She doesn't think I'm cute. Oh no. Why do you care? Are they God? Is their opinion just the end all be all? Okay, so the one girl in your science class doesn't like you. Who cares? Why do you care? Like, newsflash, not everyone's gonna like you. I mean, this just happened to me. The girl I was just talking to wasn't really feeling me. It's like, people have vision problems. Not everyone can see. It's okay, these things problems. happen. But the biggest problem here is you're in your own head. You're freaking out because you're too deeply uh, invested into the scenario, into a certain girl, into a certain outcome that you want. This is literally what you look like when you're in front of a girl that you think is cute. Yeah, well, I actually just dyed my hair. I'm not a big fan of Dairy Queen, but I'm looking at a blizzard right now. Damn, she looks good. Holy shit, it's wabbit season. Hope you He's He's she probably wouldn't even go for a guy like me. Oh my I'm god, not. she looks good. Holy shit. Hope she Bro. likes black guys. Oh wow. She probably likes white guys, damn it. I think she can see that I'm sweating. Oh man. Come on, Ryan. Don't sweat in front of her. You're acting weird. You're acting weird. She thinks you're weird, dude. Oh man, I hope that I can get her number. Oh god. I was too nervous to ask for a number yesterday. I gotta ask for a number now. No, I I really do think that's cool that you're like into um that type of stuff because like, holy shit, salt the roads, the blizzard is coming. Oh, she looks good. Holy shit. Oh man, she's looking like a creamy vanilla soft serve ice cream with a with a red velvet cake on top. Oh shit. Oh man. Little Caesar, she's looking hot and ready. Yeah, is it um is it getting hot in here? Or is it um is that just me? <laughs> sometimes I'll get heat flashes where it's like I can't control it. Like oh, sometimes nah, it doesn't bro. matter how hot it is. Like, bro, somebody get this man this? some milk. Somebody please help this brother out. Today it's like a hundred and five or something. Like I it's crazy what it is. I think it's 90, but it feels like 110 low key. <laughs> Tip number three, you need to make better eye contact. If you can't make eye contact with a girl, she will be immediately turned off. Shy men are not attractive. I mean, just think about it. Why are you as a man scared of a 5'2", 105 pound blonde girl who works at Smoothie King? How is this intimidating? But she's pretty, you know, uh, she's pretty. I get nervous because she's pretty. If you yourself are already nervous and intimidated by this little girl, then why would she want to be with you? if you're oh, already nah. scared of her. And you're scared of her, and she's looking for the confident king that can take care of her, protect her, show her off and feel comfortable and safe at these functions, but yet she knows that you're scared of her, why would she want to be with you? If anything, you need to flip the script. She needs to be shy around you. She needs to be wondering, ooh, what does he think of me? I wonder if he likes me just as much as I like him. So the bottom line is, girls don't want a shy guy. Unless you're playing Mario Kart, that's the only time it's acceptable, but everybody already knows Yoshi's actually the fastest. So emphasis on the eye contact. You need Wait, to have good eye contact that so that she knows that you're con Is that a fact? So they tell me this whole time motherfuckers have been cheating? Everybody tell me this whole time motherfuckers have been cheating? My headphones just die? No, it didn't. Confident talking to her. And that's why your mom's a hoe. 
Is that Tip fact? number four, and I don't hear a lot of people talk about this one. Don't conform to her worldviews simply to appease her. And what do I mean by that? Well, she's gonna have a bunch of opinions, thoughts, views on things, preferences, and so are you. What a lot of men do is they hear a girl say something and then they think, I have to agree with her. I can't have an opposing I can't view. Tell but whatever she says is right, I don't wanna offend her. But actually, in doing that and trying to appease her and bow down to her worldview, she's actually gonna be turned That's off because of you don't have any opinions of your own and you can't stand on anything. If you potentially disagree with her on something, Thing, or you live your lifestyle differently from her stand on that don't just uh, bend did. to her whims and whatever she says goes and she's right and you're right I should think about things like that if you can find commonalities great but don't be a pushover and act like this usually on the weekends and stuff I love watching football I love going to soccer games like MLS boring sports and all that I don't like it yeah they are they literally are <laughs> they're boring as fuck like soccer is way more boring like I can see yeah I don't know they barely score any points exactly like why am I gonna watch a sport game if they like score two points. You don't I like soccer? Facts. And you I feel like, like literally cycle. every guy I've met who watches sports, they're like a walking red flag. Duh, like literally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like gym and sports and all that stuff. It's like they have nothing better to do. Literally, it's like you're a grown man watching other men wrestle in tight white pants. Like, what? No, for real. I'm set. Stupid. Like they're always just like douchebags. Those type of guys are the worst. I just wanted to say All your right. like, jewelry is sick. Like the ring oh, and the thank necklace. thank you. I love silver. Bro, I'm more of a, I got some gold, I got some necklace oh. and stuff. Yeah, I don't know, I just feel like gold's kind of tacky. Nah, I, mean, yeah. I, I would personally, I would never wear gold, but yeah. kind of ugly. Yeah, cause like, yeah, no, I feel that. Cause like I've actually been more, like recently I just bought a bunch of silver stuff. It's more of like, I think the silver brings out more of my skin tone. Yeah, compliments your skin tone. Yeah, these better. I literally that's just, I just, that's like trash. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tip number five, Not don't pedestalize the girl that you're talking to. Hate to break it to you, but we're all equal. Just That's because someone is attractive doesn't mean they're better than you. Those people have problems and flaws just like you and me. The reason you can't That's talk to girls is because you think they're better than you in some way. And you're trying so hard to impress Nigga, what's pedestalized? Hold on, check. I gotta increase my vocabulary real quick. Let me see how you use this shit. Trash, yeah. Yeah. Shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Tip number five, don't pedestalize the girl that you're Pedestalize, pedestalize, okay, he just said it weird. I was like, what the fuck? Okay. You're talking to. Never hate mind. to break it I to you, that but word, bro. Damn, just... I thought I was gonna increase my vocabulary real quick, bro. What the fuck? I'm a, uh, uh, I'm upset, bro. Why you say it like that, bro? It's because someone is attractive doesn't don't mean they're better than you. Don't put them on a pedestal type shit, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gods, they ain't goddesses, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's just a, it's just a human, bro, you know what I'm saying, bro? On God, don't be doing that shit, bro. Yeah. Those people have problems and flaws just like you and me. The reason you can't talk oh, to girls yes. is because you think they're better than you in some way. And you're trying so hard to impress them. But have you ever thought maybe they should try to impress you? What are your standards? What do you want? Because right now, it looks like this. You're behaving like she's superior to you. So instead of trying to treat her like a superior, treat her like an equal. During the conversation, you should be asking her questions to see if she's qualified to be with you. And here's an actionable way that you can use what Noah was just talking about in a conversation. You think you're down here and you're treating her like, well, what do you want? And how, how do you feel? And well, yeah, whatever you want. I'm interested in you. I know something this? where I've asked a girl, oh, how often do you party? How often do you club? Or how often do you Y'all need this one of me, ain't gonna lie. Say, oh, <laughs> here and there, I'll, I'll do it every weekend or whatever. And then I'll say that, yeah, I never really dated. I'm trying to help you guys out, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Talk to girls that party a lot. It's just not my thing. And then the girl will say, oh, I don't party that much. And then right there, oh, you right, shifted okay. it. From I guess you I get trying bitches, bro. to appease her to her being like, oh, no, I'm not sure you, I don't party that chat. often. No, no, no. And they try to meet your standard. So it's not a matter of you having to sit there and interview her and, well, what do you bring to the table and this and that. Not like that. It's more about being subtle no with bitches. it, but oh, letting right. the girl know that you have some Ooh. standards or expectations or things that you like and don't like. I'm and they can't meet it. Oh, well, then maybe you're not the girl for me. Tip number six. Slow it down. Why are you in a rush? It's perfectly fine to have moments of silence in a conversation. The more words you say, the less weight each word holds. When you talk too much, you come across like you can't control yourself and the girl's gonna feel exhausted after talking to you for 10 minutes. Your conversation game can be improved immensely just by asking the right questions. So instead of asking basic things like, what's your major? What are your hobbies? Where did your younger sister go to college? Instead of asking questions that provoke a one word response, asking, ask deep bro? questions that they can only answer by going into a long monologue. Cause when you talk too much and too fast, this is what you look like. But speaking of TwitchCon, it's like really fascinating that there's like a big community where like every single person Yo, Chad, this y'all. Chad, this is you right here. Like, I've always wanted to be a streamer, but like if I start streaming, like I feel like I have like the personality to do it, don't you think? <laughs>
awkward. Anyways, I don't know. I just don't really know who to ask. And the fact that you're here right now, I just <laughs> thought that like you could. Say, you know, I don't have the money to even afford this stuff. So I was thinking like maybe if like you let me hang out with you, like maybe I could like use your streaming. <laughs> oh, stuff. Nah, bro. I'm gonna sing because I don't want to talk about. But I'm Tip number seven, and bro, this one might be controversial. Deep, bro. Wipe that smile off your face. Guys are always complaining about how do I get out of the friend zone? She she put me in the friend zone because you're acting like her friend. You're being too friendly. You're smiling too much. You're being too happy. When you're hanging out bro, with her, you're so giddy and excited. Oh, no. Like it's the best day ever. Maybe just act uh -huh. normal on her and act like she's your brother or act uh -huh. like you're hanging out with your cousin and y'all just chilling. So what I'm not saying is that you can't smile, but what I am saying is you But do you wanna fuck your brother? You know what I'm now this is the question. You see, but, hey, you know what I'm saying? Me personally, I don't, you know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? But you say act like you around your brother, but do you want to fuck your brother? You know what I'm saying? These are these are the questions you gotta be asking yourself, bro. You gotta switch up, switch up the narrative almost, you know what I'm saying, bro? You can't be so jittery and excited to the point where you look like a fanboy because she's gonna get the impression that she's above you and you're below her. Think about it like this. And like we said, bro, you can't be putting these, these females on the pedestal, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like that other guy couldn't say, you know what I'm saying? Me, I know how to vocabulize and enunciate my words, you feel me, broski? Prince Bo, the enunciator. That's what, that was, when you when you think of Prince Bo, you think the enunciator, bro. Prince, you can't speak English? All right. You're not even from America? Mm-hmm. Bro, if you guys know this, bro. Why Why are you using this against me, okay? I still, I, I still speak better English than like 99.9 of you guys. Go, okay. If you were a that. dog, gotta, what I'm not breed that. would you be? <laughs> what breed do you oh. act like? If everyone Go on planet Earth got transformed into dogs, what type of dog are you? Are you like a beagle? Are you like a Yorkshire Terrier? I mean, look at yourself. Are you a I'm Rottweiler? Dog. Are you a pit bull? Are you one of those puffy little Pomeranian dogs? Teacup Pomeranian? I be seeing those at Beverly Hills all the time. Like women will have those in their purses. Is that the type of dog that you act like? I think a lot of I'm actually like a Because when you're too smiley, too giddy, too happy, you look like SpongeBob. And no girl is trying to smash SpongeBob. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tip number eight. That's debatable. <laughs> go lie, go lie. That's debatable. I ain't gonna lie. And I know this one's gonna be hard for a lot of y'all. Avoid complimenting a girl on her beauty and appearance. Women get told every single, beauty, day by every single guy how beautiful they are. And when they open their phone, they see all the compliments. You're sending all these heart eye emojis, but you're pretty much just sending them into oblivion. They're getting put with all the other thousands of heart eyes that were sent in her DMs by every other guy. It doesn't hold any weight. I would advise just to lay off compliments in general. I mean, do you give your boys compliments every two minutes when your yes. boys are playing the video game are you going bro you're so smart you're so yes. good and if you are going to give her any compliment you compliment should. her on something about normalize complimenting the boys you know what i'm saying when your boy walks by he has a big juicy okay i'm joking i'm joking her character her work ethic her degree go oh i just saw you start up that business that's super <laughs> cool something deeper <laughs> than just her outward just my here's what the issue is. you're so quick to send out all these hundreds and thousands of compliments to all these random girls on your explore page that don't even care about you but when's the last time you gave your mom a compliment i mean really think about Stop it you should be telling your yo. mom that she's beautiful give it a try i'm sure she would really appreciate it and just last night i was with your mom and told her how beautiful she was and she seemed to really appreciate it but um yeah just some food for thought Okay, yeah, you can chill with the AO now. Middle Eastern by any chance? Mm hmm. Yeah, I yeah. am. I can like look, you tell. Like, Middle Eastern women have some of the most beautiful shaped faces and everything. Oh. Yeah, it's like, it's crazy because like Princess Jasmine is my favorite Disney princess. You actually look just like her. But, um. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Princess Jasmine was bad, but like, I mean, I've seen your physique, like, you're built different. Like, <laughs> just. Like on paper, you'd be like a 10 out of 10. Bro, some dirty like ass shoes, bro. Get some, get some clean um, shoes. I'm not bro. much of a math guy, I never have been, but <laughs> 10 out of 10 for sure. I thought your Instagram was AI at first, because like you look unreal. Do you like oatmeal by any chance? Oatmeal? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like oatmeal. I was about to say, because you are thicker than a ball of oatmeal. <sighs> All right. Man, you know what they say? Once All you go back, right. you gotta go back, or whatever they say. Once you go mix, that thing's gonna need to be fixed. I've never heard that before, I ain't gonna lie. That's a new yeah, one. Before we That's a new leave one. here, I had a crazy question. I was thinking about it the whole class. So are those real or like? <laughs> yes, bro, ask this every time, bro. It works, okay? It's foolproof. Are those real, you know what I'm saying? And then you got a point too, you know what I'm saying? So, so they actually know what you're talking about, you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. They might get nervous, they, they start laughing and stuff like that. That's, that's how you know you got them, bro. When they when they do a, a nervous little half twitch, and I was just asking because it doesn't matter if they're real or fake because like technically I'm a boob guy, but like I've been having sleeping problems recently and basically the pillows I have at home just don't work. So like I need something to like weigh my head on. So it's like, it doesn't matter if they're real or fake. Like if they're real, that's, that's good because it's like more cushion. But like, yeah, so no on the real or fake or I should probably go. Okay, um, well, yeah, have a good one. I'll see you around.
Number nine, don't reveal too much. Stop revealing all your plans and intentions and feelings towards her. It's not a good look. When you do that, you're letting her know that she's got you. There's no more chase. There's no excitement. There's nothing left to mystery. There's nothing left to her imagination where she can think, oh, does he like me? After she's done hanging out with you, she should be thinking, hmm, that was fun, but I don't know how he feels about me. I don't know if he likes me that much. But unfortunately, every time you hang out with her, this is what you look like. Honestly, I would 100% be down to link again. Like, even though it's only an hour into us hanging out. I mean, if you're free tomorrow, you know, it's only an hour. I can make time for you. Would you All be free right. tomorrow at time or morning? I can do like breakfast or something. No. Not for breakfast? You know, like breakfast? What's your ETA? Hey, what's your yeah, ETA? Hey, that that's song is slap, bro. Actually, I that song is so that's good. That's what my mom would love you. Like, she, she always likes girls that have that sort of, you know, traditional background. Y'all would get along. So, uh, I just told her about you. And she's like, oh, yeah, to bring her by, like, whenever. Like, my mom's from Ireland, so my mom would cook you, like, shepherd's pie or something. Like, I don't know if you've had that before. I actually, I can't have that. I keep kosher. Shepherd's oh, kosher. pie. Oh, yeah. What does that mean? I just can't have other meat. That's not kosher. Oh, okay. No, that's fine, because, like, my meat is 100% kosher. All right. Are you Jewish? I mean, I can be. Mazel tov. Hanukkah. So, yeah, um, Hanukkah. Well, whenever you're free, just let me know. <laughs> free Tuesday, Hanukkah. Thursday, Friday, and then Yo. Saturday morning. Free. Hey, you know, I, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Perfect. I'll see you. <laughs> Tip number 10, and I'll be struggling with this one. Don't talk about other girls and exes while you're talking to her. While it is good for oh, girls to know that you are capable of getting other women, don't talk about that when you're on a date. When you talk about your other interactions with women in front of women, it makes the girl that you're with feel less important. Almost like there's some sort of commodity or they're just one of your girls and they don't want to feel like that. I'm on Hinge a lot. Tinder just no good success rate, but I've been on about like 20 dates on Hinge. I don't know, you can also use this to like your benefit as well, you know what I'm saying, bro? Let, let, let her know tight shit. Like, yeah, yeah, I got our shit tight shit. You feel me? Like, hey, 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 hey. Like, I fuck with you, but like, if you fuck around shit, I, 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 I'll leave you in the dust tight shit. You feel me, bro? Excuse me. And I swear, all these girls are catfishes. Especially this one girl that I brought over last night. On Instagram, she looked like Sydney Sweeney. But when she came to my crib, her face was given Will Ferrell and her body was given Lizzo. And I mean, she was taking up a lot of the bed space and I was like, okay, I'll do it for the one time. It's a little more than I'm used to, <laughs> but sometimes you just gotta time. do community service. So she still stayed the night. But you're way better than what that even was. Okay. Tip number 11, and I can't even believe I have to tell y'all this, never reveal that you've been broken up with or cheated on. I mean, if you were at a job interview and told the person you got fired from your last job, do you never. think they're gonna wanna hire you? The yes. girl you're talking to might not know you that well, so I'm gonna be a bad guy for saying this, but it's okay to lie. It's okay to withhold information that makes you look like a cornball. Now your mom's gonna tell you, always be honest, just be yourself. The right girl's gonna come along. Sometimes it's okay to tell little white lies, you know what I'm saying? Like Santa Claus is real, you know what I'm saying? White lies that improve the outlook of life which you look upon yourself what is being visually appealing to the gal them. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying, bro? And love you for you. Also, just look good, tight shit. Look, looking good always helps, you know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, 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 and there's levels to looking good, you know what I'm saying, bro? You can look like a little scruffy with a little slash of I don't know what I'm trying to do. And sorry, mom, I love you, but that's a big load of BS. But you know what? Don't even take my advice. Don't even take my word for it. You can Friendly do that whole host. honesty thing. This is what Low it looks key, like. I'm, I'm just so happy that you're a better responder with our texts. Cause like, <laughs> girls don't be texting me back no more. The dating apps, they're oh brutal. I can't God. even get a match. I've probably swiped right on like 300 girls and not one match. I buy the roses. I have the Tinder Platinum, the Hinge X, the Bumble Premium, and still the zero. Bumble I'm just premium. swiping right all day and not a single soul has gotten back to me. <laughs> So apparently my ex wanted to break up with me because she said that we were like in different places and she wasn't looking for a relationship currently. Something about like she needed to go find herself. And then come to find out, she's hooking up with some basketball player on our basketball team. Some like six, seven dreadhead. It doesn't even make any sense. We just ended this like a week ago. Tip number 12, and this is a big one, stop flexing. Discovery trumps disclosure. During your conversation, don't list off all your accomplishments, your accolades, all the cool things you do, your PR. Do not do that. So if you own a Lamborghini and you tell a girl, guess what? I have a Lamborghini. You want to see it? She's not going to be that impressed. But if the girl finds out that you have a Lamborghini without you having to say anything, it's going to be far more impressive. So you can share it with... So in hindsight, guys, buy a Lamborghini and then just drive around. That's how you get girls, bro. Buy nice cars, you know? Just drive a Lamborghini around, you know? Park it, stand by it. Don't mind if I don't even drive it, just stand by it. Just stand near it. You know what I'm saying? Get, get in and out of it. Galdoms, you know? 
type of hobbies, goals you have, things you're trying to do, but just don't show off, because otherwise you'll look like this. Have you ever talked to like a YouTuber before, or uh? <laughs> uh, no. These are really nice. These are the YouTube plaques, right? Oh, the plaques? Yeah. Yeah, these. Um, yeah, nothing crazy. What is it? One to ten million followers across all platforms or something? I don't really know. <laughs> really cool. Can we, um, sit? Oh, yeah. You can sit right there in the cow chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think of the chair? Nice. Brazilian cowhide imported from Brazil. <laughs> would have never really known. I was never into foreign made designer furniture, but when I saw it, I had to have it. Yeah, do they like harm the cow or something? Oh, no, nah. this is kosher. Yeah, but um, <laughs> for some weird chair. reason, these chairs are like five grand. <laughs> no! Are you okay? Yeah, Why are your good. shoes so dirty, dirty, bro? Are like $700. Isn't that ridiculous? Like, the shoes look dirty, but they're more expensive than regular shoes. Oh, yeah. hell no. And he's like, pull up, I want you in the thing, so. And then wait for it. I got my own full scene, just wow. me. Like, just straight shot on me. Cole was like, yo, we're gonna do a shot with just you with this thing. Like, oh, All whatever right. I All right. Of course, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure I get all the females in there because I know your only ass lose it. You know what I'm saying? Wanna, wanna go follow the baddies, you know what I'm saying, bro? Go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 bro, you know what I'm saying, bro? Just, just be yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gonna find the right girl for you if you're just yourself. Just kidding, bro. Be, 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 be fit. Be completely fabricated, bro. Make it everything about your life. You know what I'm saying, bro? You, you, you're, you're, fuck, you're fucking Batman. No, you're Superman. You know, you're, you're the Flash. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. It go live.